All right, guys, back with technique this Tuesday. We are gonna do a chest lock, which in my opinion is, number one, the most misused, number two, the most poorly executed move in all of freestyle wrestling. So, um, obviously there's only one second. There's a lot of places you can use a chest lock from. So, Val hit the double. Boom, right here on me. I reach, lock over the chest. Now, what I should be doing here is I should throw him over his head. So I should throw him that way. So I should stop, I should lock, I should, boom, throw him that way. Right? That would be a very cleanly executed throw. That would get me four points. That would get him zero points. So, what happened to freestyle wrestling is kids get hit with a double leg, boom, and then they panic, and this is almost always their last resort. They obviously could turn down and I would just give them two points, but almost always, last resort, they go, Ugh! and then down gets four points, right? And I get zero points. And I could have just given up two points there. I didn't have to give up four, especially when we got Chris here, didn't match, that's a big deal. Now the other thing that kids do very poorly is if Val's in on this double leg here, I said I need to go over his head, which is this direction. They either go A, straight over the top, or B, to this way. Both of them are bad. This is even worse. So if I lock and I throw Val to this side over here, he just floods his feet, he lands a double, and now I'm stuck in my back end. Yep, wave my feet in the air, and I can't go anywhere. If I go straight over the top, the same thing happens. So while the chest lock is a very valuable move to know, it is grossly overused, and it is often poorly executed. So I'm gonna show you one more time, kind of in real time speed, how you should be using your chest lock in freestyle wrestling. Right there, okay? So as Val shoots in, I throw him over his head. It's a very clear distinction that I'm making him change direction. I'm in control of the action. I don't land on my back or get stuck on my back, and he doesn't end up on top of me in any way, shape, or form. So that is how to properly execute a chest lock.